Babyface's impeccable singing and songwriting capabilities have earned him 11 Grammy Awards and a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. But just because he's a pro at creating romantic love songs doesn't mean he's had success in the dating world. Today, we'll be diving deeper into Babyface's relationships, and we also have some juicy details about his new girlfriend. You're gonna need something to munch on for this one, so head on over to rrgsnacks.com, our online concession stand that has an assortment of turkey, beef, and bacon jerky, buffalo wing popcorn, and butter toffee peanuts. As always, we have to take you way back in order to gain better insight into the way Babyface behaves when it comes to dating and relationships. Born and raised in Indianapolis with his five brothers, Kenneth Babyface Edmonds experienced his first real crush in the sixth grade. He told Angela Yee's Lip Service podcast that he kept a diary about his crush. He would watch her get on the bus and would keep track of her outfits and write down how pretty she looked every day. One day, his brother and his cousin found the diary and read through it, which left Babyface completely mortified. After his secret was uncovered, his cousin arranged for the girl to call Babyface. When he found out it was her on the other end of the line, he was so petrified he hung up the phone in her face and continued admiring her from afar. When one of his athletic, good-looking classmates developed an interest in the same girl, Babyface knew he didn't stand a chance. He eventually agreed to ghostwrite a letter for his classmate. The classmate signed his name at the bottom of the letter, and the classmate and the girl started dating, all thanks to the sweet words Babyface had written in the letter. From that incident, not only did he realize he had a unique way with words, but he also saw his shyness hindered him when it came to dating and relationships. Many years later, during an interview with Angela Yee's Lip Service podcast, Babyface stated that he never approaches women and he doesn't pursue them. He admitted that he doesn't like to make the first move because he's afraid of getting rejected. As a teenager, he performed in lounges and eventually was called to Cincinnati for some session work. That's where he hooked up with The Deal. He joined the group as their guitarist, but eventually started working with the group's drummer, L.A. Reid, to produce and write songs for their albums. Not only was Babyface able to get his feet wet in the music industry, but he also found love. Sources report that he began dating a woman named Linnell Ladd. In online articles, she's referenced as being the sister of someone who was affiliated with L.A. Reid and Babyface. Babyface and Linnell got married, and they even teamed up to co-write the song If We Try off his debut 1986 album. Unfortunately, their marriage ended in divorce. Babyface and L.A. branched out to produce for other artists, including The Whispers' 1987 smash hit, Rock Steady. This opened up even more doors, and Babyface went on to work with other artists like Bobby Brown, Paula Abdul, Karen White, and Whitney Houston, to name a few. In 1990, real estate agent Tracy McHorn was shopping at the Beverly Center with her mom when L.A. Reid's wife, Pebbles, approached them. Tracy told The Root that Pebbles asked if she wanted to audition for Babyface's Whip Appeal music video. With some encouragement from her mom, Tracy agreed, and she got the role. However, she got the chicken pox the day before the video shoot and had to pull out of the project. Later that same year, Tracy's mom was driving down Santa Monica Boulevard when she spotted Babyface coming out of a recording studio. Her mom pulled over and gave him Tracy's business card. By this point in his life, Babyface was still as shy as ever. However, he managed to pick up the phone the very next day. Two years later, in September 1992, they became husband and wife. They settled down in a luxurious Beverly Hills estate. Babyface told People magazine that their relationship had a calming effect on him. Because of Tracy, he was more stable, more confident, and more satisfied. Tracy proved to be more than just a pretty face. A year after tying the knot, she founded Yab Yum Entertainment, and her roster of songwriters wrote hits for artists like TLC, Tony Braxton, and Diana Ross. They welcomed two sons, Brandon and Dylan, and they also founded a production company called Edmonds Entertainment. Their first project, the movie Soul Food, grossed $43 million and was turned into a Showtime series. Babyface and Tracy were a Hollywood power couple, but it wouldn't last. They separated in October 2005, and Tracy filed for divorce a few months later after 13 years of marriage. Years later, Babyface admitted during an interview with Oprah's Next Chapter that they loved each other, but they were never really in love with each other. 
Looking back on their 13 years together, he stated, I don't feel like we were supposed to be together forever. I'm okay with it because I think she's okay. He and Tracy vowed to remain great co-parents and friends. Tracy moved on several times and is now engaged to Hall of Fame football player Deion Sanders. Babyface, on the other hand, took his time before jumping into his next relationship. While chatting with Tony Braxton for BET, he was asked what he learned from his past relationships. He said he discovered how important it was to be honest with himself and his feelings. He also considered relationships to be an ongoing learning process. He laid low and just puttered around up until he started dating dancer Nicole Pattenberg in 2007. In September 2008, they welcomed their daughter, Peyton. As for sealing the deal and asking Nicole to be his wife, Babyface wasn't quite ready for all of that until he went through a life-changing event. His mom succumbed to her battle with Alzheimer's in September 2012 at the age of 80. He told NPR that losing someone that important to him made him want to appreciate every single moment with the ones he loved. In February 2014, after seven years of dating, he announced he and Nicole were engaged. Three months later, they got married in Southern California. In 2015, during an interview with NPR, Babyface referred to Nicole and his three children as the biggest loves of his life. But apparently, the feeling wasn't mutual. Nicole filed for divorce in July 2021, citing irreconcilable differences. In his response, Babyface asked for joint custody of their daughter, who was 12 at the time, and he listed himself as the party responsible for paying spousal support. RRG can confirm that as of this video, the divorce is still pending, and Babyface has already moved on with a woman named Rika Tischendorf. According to her Instagram, Rika was born in Germany and raised in Los Angeles. She earned her master's in global communication from USC in 2014, and in March 2019, she snagged a job at Hitco Entertainment, a contemporary music and entertainment company co-founded by L.A. Reid. Now, we're not exactly sure when Babyface and Rika first met, but he was featured on her Instagram on July 27, 2021, 13 days after his estranged wife filed for divorce. As recently as December 2021, Rika has been working in the A&R department of P Music Group, an artist management company that also represents Babyface. As of this video, Babyface is working on the release of his ninth studio album titled Girls' Night Out, which features several rising female R&B artists, including Ella May, Ari Lennox, Queen Nyjah. Like, you know, he's an OG in the game, so it's like, yes. for the OGs to recognize me, it makes me feel like, okay, I'm gonna be here for a minute. Like, I got some longevity, like, and I feel like they can see that. And guess who's listed as co-producer of the album? Rika, of course. According to his interview with Angela Yee's Lip Service podcast, Rika is the one who introduced him to a younger generation of talented artists. She played him some of Ari's music and he was blown away. So what does German-born Rika know about R&B music? We'll have to wait and see when the Girls' Night Out album is released in October 2022. Babyface and his new Tenderoni have appeared at several red carpet events and they've been booed up all across the globe. He's also professing his love for her on Instagram. Now, whether he's in love with her is a different story. Whether or not he plans to walk down the aisle for a fourth time is something we'll have to wait and see. And his third divorce isn't even final yet, so we doubt we'll be hearing wedding bells between Babyface and Rika anytime soon. But for now, we wish them the best. Let us know your thoughts on Babyface's dating history, and thanks for watching RRG.